never gonna be on time, you nitwit. Don't you ever be late again, or else, understand? And that goes for the rest of you, too. You're the worst troop of Red Scouts on the entire planet. And who's the meanest in the forest? We are, we are, we are, we are. And if we're the meanest and the toughest, then which one of us is the smartest, huh? Everybody knows that you know everything. He's right, I second that motion, Captain Sir. Today, we're gonna get Ferdy and his friends. Can I go? Can I go? I wanna go play, sir. <laughs> I wanna go get those guys, too. So listen up. This is how we're gonna get those guys. I want two scouts for a search party to go looking for Ferdy and his friends. Then we're gonna surround them and get them. I better go warn Ferdy that the Red Scouts are coming. <laughs> the Miller is home. Maybe he can help us get away from those Red Scout guys. We can't keep running from those no-good Red Scouts. We ought to confront the varmints. Oh, yeah. And while we're at it, we can have a few good eats. Is that all you uh -huh. think about, Big Blob? Mm. Food, food, food. I believe I detect a note of anger. Too much red Stop meat, perhaps? Stop fighting, uh -huh. you guys, and listen to me. I think I better go to the Miller's house by myself and ask him if he'll give us a ride back home in the carriage. So you just stay here and relax and don't worry about a thing. This is a life, don't you think? Free food provided by that old snoozer, the Miller, lots of sunshine. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> if I could lower my golf score, life would be great. Uh -huh. Oh. Shoot a few rounds this afternoon. Hey, little brother, get a grip on yourself. We don't have to play golf today. Huh? <laughs> just what are you bugs doing here? We were just fishing in the lake over there. I've got a mind to fry you two in butter and feed you to the alligators. Me and my brother are just trying to make an honest living. You won't be making a living off me. Now get out of here. <laughs> Hey, Miller. Hi there. Ach, meine Güte, it's my good friend Ferdy come to see me. How are you doing today? Well, not so good. You see, the Red Scouts have been chasing us, but we have a plan, and we were wondering if you'd help us. It's a very nice day for a plan, but you see, I'm awfully busy and must take my flower off to market before the price falls to nichts. Uh, does that mean you won't be able to help us? <clears throat> I'm afraid not, my friend. Surely you can't be in any serious trouble. <laughs> oh, look up there. Is that my Ferdy down there? Oh, no! Oh. oh, Mr. Miller, I have a message for you! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Must it mess my hair? Uh-oh! I just thought I'd drop in and do my good deed for the day. I must say, all this dust around here could make a girl very grouchy. Yes, indeed. My Ferdy boy. Ugh. Hi. Oh, ciao, ciao. Oh, I'm so very sorry. My beautiful lady, sorry. You look like my Ferdy. I do not know this Ferdy. Perhaps you are not quite right in the noggin, yes, no? I may be blonde, but I'm no bimbo. You look exactly like Ferdy. Not me. <laughs> Ferdy is not me, vice versa. Well, then just who are you, anyway? Uh, I am Fernando Linguini, the chef extraordinaire. So you see, I cannot be this Ferdy type person that you are seeking, my dear. Well, then, I just don't know what I'm going to do then, because, you see, I have a very important message to give Ferdy. I guess I'll just have to wait for him here. You have a very important message for Ferdy? Oh, it's nothing, really. Just something about Red Scouts and such and what they plan to do. Boring details. It's not like the end of the world or anything. But if this message is about those terrible Red Scouts, then you should give me the message right away. Oh, <gasps> stop, please. Stop, please. <gasps> Chef Linguini, what's your name? <gasps> this is boring. The message isn't for you. Oh, you're Chef Linguini, not my fair... Uh... <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, Fräulein, you must tell me this important message about those despicable Red Scouts, yeah? Oh, how many times do I have to repeat 
myself, I sent the messages for my boyfriend, Ferdy the Ant. Uh, did I hear you say that Ferdy the Wonderful Ant is your boyfriend? Oh, he's my boyfriend, all right. He's so strong and incredibly handsome. <laughs> of course, I have many such boyfriends all over the forest. Oh, my dear Fräulein, might I interest you in a bit of lunch today, butter pie, perhaps, or some corn cakes a la mode? Maybe we have tea on the veranda and you tell us all about boyfriends and that message about Red Scouts. Oh, I'll fix the lunch. There. Hmm. hmm. A little of this white stuff. And this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you two laughing about? I'm one of the best cooks around, so quit snickering or I'll order donuts from the Widow Johnson. Oh, we're not laughing at you at all. Believe me, we were just thinking about a joke we heard today, that's all. Well, you can take your lousy oh. lunch. I quit! I'm a beauty queen, not a cook. Wait, oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh, and by the way, those awful Red Scouts are on their way to rent the miller of all his food and then go after and his friends, so when you see Ferdy, give him a message. Ta-ta! Did you hear that, oh. Miller? Those awful Red Scouts are coming to get us! Red Scouts coming here to raid my flour and cookies? Oh no, Miller! If those Red Scouts know we're here, then we better do something in a hurry! If they take my flour, I'll be ruined! Oh, well, I know what to do. Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh. Huh? And who are you? I'm Ferdy. Oh, and here I thought you were famous. Stop being silly, Woody. Now listen, you guys, those Red Scouts are coming here to attack us, and we gotta be ready. Why, those no good Red Scouts would never tangle with me again, no way. Oh, yes, they will. They'll be here, all right. Laura overheard them planning to come here and raid all the food and then attack us, so here's my plan, see? We know that they're coming, so we'll surprise them, and then what we'll do is we're... <laughs> I kick him in the shins, understand? Yeah. Okay, I want two scout volunteers up here on the double. The two of you are going on a reconnaissance mission. Go find Ferdy and report back to me. Yes, sir. sir. I'm a snail, you scurvy scout. What did you think I was, a Winnebago? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's an awfully big house you have there on your back. Yeah, it's not a house, you crummy kid. It's a mobile home, and don't you even think of touching one square inch of it. Hmm. Hey. Looks a little old around oh. here. Get out of my face, you no good rotten red scout, or I'll leave a slime trail all over you bigger than the Grand Canyon. Mm. I got it. Ha ha, yay, yippee, that's it, yeah, yay. Trojan horse slug. Anyone who knows anything about history remembers how the Trojan warriors crept inside the wooden horse, and then once they were in the enemy camp, they crept out real slow while everyone was sleeping and surprised their enemy and crushed them to bits. And over there's our Trojan horse. Yahoo, me? What are you out of your mind? You must be nuts, kid. I'm out of here. It'll be a cold day in the forest before I ever give you guys a lift. <laughs> well, then I guess you're just going to miss out on the huge picnic we're going to have with lots of good cookies huh? to eat. Did you say picnic? Um, and I think we're having rhubarb pie for dessert. Ooh. I love rhubarb. Yeah, and lots of fresh leaves of cabbage. And big clumps of Bermuda grass. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And lots of gummy bears. Gummy <laughs> bears. But I guess you're too busy to help us, huh? Hmm. All right, all right, you can cut out the sarcasm. I knew a bribe when I hear one, so what's the catch, big shot? <laughs> all we want you to do is give us a ride into the forest. It's no big deal, and after the picnic, you can go on your way. So what do you say? Okay, creeps, you got a deal.
Scumbug would be telling me to chill out in my own house. Come down from there, you achy, sticky spider. Uh, as soon as we make it a spooky house, we'll change it back again. You we'll... see here, you. Uh. <laughs> I, I want my house restored to original and these bugs will repute out of here or I'll grind them up in my mill to little pieces. But Mr. Miller, sir, this plan will work. I just know it will. We'll scare the dickens out of those red scouts and they'll never ever come back again and we'll all be safe, I promise you. Huh? Oh my! You know, now we can make a real big mess of this place. Let's get going. <laughs> I bet he weighs more than I do. Oh boy. Oh, oh, boy. Hey, I see him over there. We got him now. Quick, let's call into headquarters. Scouts to headquarters, target located. They're easy targets, I tell you. Just sitting around painting the Miller's house. They posted a guard, but he's sleeping. I think we really got him this time. Ha! <laughs> okay, now we got those guys. They're holed up at the Miller's house. It'll be easy as pie. No. <laughs> I love pie. You can all come out now, you little hitchhikers. Oh. 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 Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 no, this place is pretty scary looking. like a bunch of Freddy cats. Smarten up or I'll show you a ghost or two. Come on. makes a lot of spooky sounds. So let's get on our way. Hey, oh, 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 who did that? I want my mommy, I want my mommy, I want my mommy. Oh, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. Oh, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. Calm down, calm down, oh, calm oh. down. Like I've been telling you, there's a simple explanation here. So let's oh, just God. use our heads and press on. No, not me, I can't go on anymore. Not me, not me. I can't go on because my feet are yeah. behind her, too. Oh, you crybabies, you crybabies. All you ever do is complain. If you complain one more time, I'll send you both back home. You and me all by ourselves alone? Ooh. No, in a showbird limousine with champagne, you idiots. Come on. Oh, mama, mama. Oh, 
<laughs> the Count of Darkness. <laughs> now, don't you worry, it's just a Fig Newton of your imagination. Oh, no, didn't we already do this one? Ooh. I haven't seen so much running and swimming like that since the 88 triathlon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the end of those guys. Ah, uh, you betcha. Let's party down with some cold suds and schnitzel. Hey there, fellas. Let's step out of these wet clothes and into a dry soda. We deserve oh, yeah. a party. <laughs> Help! Somebody get me off this thing! Help! Untie me! Anybody seen Woody? Oh! Wait till my agent hears about this. 